What's up, party people? Welcome to episode 6 of Laz Vic Live. I have a very special show for you tonight. I say tonight clearly. It's not night. It is uh, daytime outside. If you can see the light coming from my... That is actual daylight coming. And uh, I had to re-record this intro because technical difficulties. And I wanted to give my boy a proper introduction because I'm excited to share his comedy experience with you guys. Ladies and gents, please welcome to the show my boy, Mr. Monty Mason. So welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming on, my man. I'm so happy because it's boring just me sitting here talking crap. So okay, what's up, man? What you been up to? What's going on? But yeah, man, I've been summer. <clears throat> We've been uh ah, I've been I've been you know just grinding. I was it's been quiet. I've been quiet, just writing and trying to like do some new stuff and some new feels. You've been and writing like, a lot. I've been writing a lot as well. Yeah, trying man. to write a new show right now. Yeah, I want to, like, I'm writing a new show right now. I'm going to be actually, like, I'm going to test. So right now I'm, like, in a test. That's the fun part. The fun part is, like, you go from, like, you, when you're in, like, testing stage, you're like, oh, I'm going to try this bit. This yeah. bit's going to work. And then the bit's like, <laughs> or this one bit in the bit. That's that, that, that thing you said about bananas was funny. The funny. <laughs> bananas are funny. Like, you get That's one funny. little. One little funny bit, and then you gotta like, and some bits just come, like you know, some bits come out full form. You're like, that worked tonight, but then, the yeah, next night. yeah. So, and it's hard because the only way you're gonna find the bits is if you're on stage doing it, and oh, you're only uh, up there 50 minutes, 20 minutes at a time. Yeah, so you gotta discover it quickly. Yeah, that's a, it's tough. Like, you know, you know, like you when I I like to see, I don't know, I like to I used to just write, like I used to write everything down word for word. Yeah, and then I started like that was like too tight, and then I used to write like bullet points, and then write around, and then give myself, you know how you see in the movies, they're like watch Eddie Murphy react. I used to give myself a spot to just, yeah, yeah, go. yeah, exactly, and act out. <laughs> yeah, and act out, did that, and then back to the bit, or try to see if I could find a, a leg I could explore on because I'm I'm pumped. Yeah, or some stuff like I'm I'm best when I'm somewhere in between that where I'm like. I have I know where I want to go and then something occurs to me and then I can connect it and then I write that down. I want I hate watching myself, but you ugh. Yeah, I, I I what I do is that, yeah, I I watershed. I just use what works and get rid of what doesn't and yeah. just repeat yeah. the process and repeat the process. It's it's a tough process. Sometimes it's painful. Like it's like you <laughs> Sometimes it's really painful because you really want <laughs> you, you know my challenge this year is being honest. And it, I guess yeah. it's always been a challenge, just being 100% honest and challenging myself instead of doing the material that works. Yeah. Every time I go on stage. And it's hard because sometimes you get paid. You feel you safe there. Point. You feel safe. Oh, feel I'm going to do this bit. You know, like, but exactly. you, you, I mean, you're too talented. You're not like a robot. Like, I like to, I play too much. And then I get on a limb where the joke is just like, oh, oh well. But I learn, you learn to take it. You just stand up there yeah. and you just, but I like, I like, so, you know, I like to go away for a little bit, like not performing. And then yeah. that sort of resets, like a hard reset, because now you're coming back and you don't really, it's not fresh in your head what you was doing or yeah. were doing. Yeah. And then now you're like, all right, I'll just, I'll do this new stuff. And then you start to do it that way. And then, you know, like I got, uh, like I got a show Wednesday, uh -huh. uh, uh, September 11th. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Where but, at? Uh, Bloomfield. I'm in Bloomfield. All right, cool, uh, 378 cool. Broad, 
I have them with Ty Rainey and uh, Gazelle Cabrera. Nice. I know yeah, them yeah. both. I know that room. That that's room. A great room. It should be fun. Mike Gaffney's there. Oh, really? Uh, that's a good, yeah. That's a good lineup. So it, it should be fun. Like I'm probably. I don't even know how long I'm doing. I'm probably doing like ten or fifteen. But uh, it's gonna that's be a all. Great, I love that room. It's a great room. It's gonna be all new, but it's gonna be like, you know, it's stuff I know works, but stuff I know I'm gonna see what order works, and then yeah, it yeah. should be good. I'm gonna shamelessly plug my show now. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Uh, let me see here. Um, 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 ladies and gents, on September 19th, Thursday, I will be at the stand with this killer lineup. Just check out the. I don't even deserve to be on this lineup. Check out those names. Twenty dollar chef. Oh my God, Chris Lev, they're awesome. I I can't believe uh, uh, I'm on this bill, but. Please, tickets are already almost sold out. Thursday, September 19th, 9.30 p.m. At the stand, East 16th Street, New York City. Come on out. Let me know if you're coming. So, That's a dope. Yeah, man, it's going to be a dope show. I can't wait. I'm very excited. I've been um, workshopping new material like i said I'm very excited about this yeah. new stuff that i've been writing because it comes from the heart man it's like yeah. stories of my childhood and also yeah. you know things that have been going on in my life this year That's... it's been quite a roller coaster of a year i know man. i feel like i woke up from a dream yeah man you hit that don't don't say woke you know people are like woke <laughs> he he's woke i don't think i'm woke <laughs> he he woke but, but i know what you mean you're like you 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 wiped off the fog and you're like, hey. I wiped off the fog. You know what I mean? And then you just, now you're going, you're off and running. And that's good. And then you bring that to, because st- people change every few years. And it's good to see the growth. Like people yeah, never man. stop growing. Like, just well, I, was, good- I really never stopped growing before. And that was my problem. I kept growing. <laughs> and growing. And growing. growing. And now I needed to shrink a little bit. <laughs> like, you know what? I got to, my neck. That that's the food. That that's America. America's the only place where the problem is we have we're fat. <laughs> we have too much food. Super <laughs> easy to eat. Sh- uh, shitty. Bad. Bad. It's cheaper it's, too. Cheaper it's, to eat. Yeah. It's yo. They got burgers like dollar burgers. But go buy some fruit. Seven. You can't find fruit if you, you want to buy fruit. It's hard. Not, it's hard to find fruit. No, like or or like, if they sell fruit full of sh- like fruit cups and they're full of sugar. In yeah. Fruit. So. I'm, it's really That's hard, actually. Good. You just got to buy your own fruit and chop it, or you just got to go to a tree. <laughs> yeah. Man, man, the people going to be shaking it down. Yo, I last got an apple tree in his backyard. <laughs> Dude, That's... so I don't know if we talked. Um, I don't know if you um, are a gamer. Well, I, I used to when I when I have a when kid. When you were a kid, would, did you uh, no, game No, when, when I didn't have a kid, <laughs> I used to game. What did you game? game? I, had say, I had a Sega Master System. All right. That was, a, that was the shit right that there. That was dope. I had the, the Genesis 16-bit of awesomeness. Nice. You played the Michael I, Jackson game? I, ow! Ow! Did you play I that played, and he saves the little kids? Yep. Yeah, see, now, yeah, now, <laughs> I don't know. I, I played, uh, I had... My friends had NES. I didn't have the and the and the oh, you know, I'm talking like uh like Super Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Like these kids awesome. are like what? Like uh, and you, you know, sat there for hours. Hours with those the Goonies. We played the Goonies. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So I used to game, but and then the last game system I really had was uh Xbox 360. I know you Xbox, you Xbox nigga. <laughs> People. All of a sudden, y'all, I don't know. I didn't know there were the feelings. Oh, there's a, a rivalry there. It's like it's East like, Coast, West Coast. Like this, you can be. You yeah, know what I'm saying? There's, there's memes about it. Uh-uh. You know. But yeah, man. So yeah, I know you. I know you look. You're big into gaming, and you're big into just making it happen on the program. I want to show you my new toy, Monty. But... And I want to show the audience my new toy. This Next is one a GPI case, which is sold out everywhere at the moment. Wow. And this is not a Game Boy. This is a. Uh, that's for the screenshot. That's for like, I'm having fun. <laughs> Gamer loves games. <laughs> this is a custom um, Game that's Boy, like a Super Game Boy, right? It's got Nintendo in it. 
Um, That's crazy, man. It's got Super Nintendo in it. It's got Genesis. I got about 205 games right now. I had to buy a whole system to get that. How is it all fitting in there? (laughs) I got Bonk's Revenge right here. That's Turbo Graphics. Bonk? (laughs) Bonk, dude. My friend actually set this up for me, and I shall continue programming it. Here's Bonk. Oh, oh, snap. You can't see it too, too well, but... I see it. Bonk was a doing... That was a... I don't well, know if you guys I don't guys know why know. I'm tapping that screen. Oh, there you go. I was Look. a dude who used to bonk stuff with his big ass head. I used to call my wife bonk. So, oh yeah? She used to headbutt me. Like she, she used to headbutt you? Yo, she played soccer. She got a hard head. Like it hurt. Like bonk. This is the big one right here where I'm going to play on the bus. <laughs> yeah. uh, Super Nintendo. Yes. Wait, the screen went dark. Sometimes it takes a little bit. 1995. Wow. The, the the 90s games were the best, man. Those yeah, were the they were, best games. Simple, but they were hard. But Konami, that's what I'm talking about. That's a good game in studio. Ready? They had a... Castlevania. <gasps> what? And it... It had that music. Dude, I, this has got like a little speaker in it. Yeah, but you don't want... You, you need a crappy speaker. <laughs> for eight... I'm gonna be yeah. on the bus super loud. Like this. <laughs> Leave me alone! They're like, what's wrong with that guy? Quiet, I'm playing, I'm killing, I'm killing Dracula, fool! <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna walk down the street like the 80s, like this. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not, yo, first of all, 8 bit music or 16 bit music was the best music. It was the best. So catchy. I got I got a bit about Super Mario music. It's just the RPI case. G- GPI case. It's got a 320 by 240 pixel LCD screen, 2.8 inch, 2.8 inch. It takes three AA batteries. I'm gonna go through a lot of batteries. I need to buy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's got a headphone jack, and so you it's can... got all the buttons. Here's the the back, so you can uh, see. That's like, dope. Right. The spec. Got yeah, the cable, okay, so USB. Let me shut it down so you can see on the back. It's got, um, it's like a cartridge, but it's not really a cartridge. Inside no, yeah. here, it's a micro and SD card, right? You take that oh. micro SD card out and you put it into a computer and then you can load in the ROMs. This this plays off something called ROMs. I don't know if you know what that is. Mm, a read-only a memory? There you go. This guy's a genius. In fact, oh! I, I'm not even sure if that's, that's what ROMs means. But anyway, um, <laughs> read only. Man. I don't even know what ROM means. <laughs> ROM well, space. I, a ROM is basically the game. That's what the format of the game was. Yeah, but yeah. yeah probably read only memory because you can only read it. Yeah. You can't change it. So. Um, it's random. So thank you, Oscar. To... Oscar, yo man. My boy Oscar hooked me up with this. This is sold out everywhere. Sure, no one can find it. My boy Oscar hooked me up. And just a consumer. I'm not a creator like that. I, I, I can make I can make video game noises. That's about it. That's dope, man. Yeah. So this is gonna be on the bus with me every day. That's what I'm saying. First of all, you need a distraction on a bus. The bus. Yeah, the bus, man. You I'm need a music. huge video game nerd as well. Yeah. So I probably get nauseous on the bus playing this little screen. Yeah, motion sickness. Yeah, I I totally get. Mo- I'm getting it right now. Just thinking about. <laughs> just thinking about being on the bus. Oh, it's probably it's probably the anxiety. Awful. It's pro- it's probably anxiety, and they never told you. It's it's more anxiety of being on the bus. Bro, Don't I was on the stop. bus the other day, and this guy man spread, way big, like way uh-uh. big, right? And his his legs were way into my threshold bus seat territory. You yeah, know that like, threshold. The armrest is the threshold. You, you're like, but your Yo, leg man. is all up over this here. Is... You know what I mean? And he's I mean, manly. He's real manly. Sitting like up, this. He's staking out territory. The he more was room in the, you take up, the more manly you are. Right? He was imperialistic. So I, um, and you know me, I'm an asshole. I, uh, I put my, my arm on his knee and as, I use it as my armrest. <laughs> and I was on the phone like this. And he automatically, you know what happens when <laughs> a man touches other man's skin. Yeah. It's, it's like, a a, it's like that two it's magnets that don't attract. They yep. just... <laughs> He flew. To <laughs> way in. That's that's where that homoerotic stuff works to your advantage. You just yeah. if you're not secure. 
That's hey man. Seriously, man spreading. Stop. I'm gonna mess with you you're, if you're not secure. You're that you, that toxic masculinity right there. Stop. Yeah, it. man. So Stop it. you know, I was willing to share. Yeah. And no problem. Did you have the game with you? Maybe he was I trying didn't. To, I didn't have it he, yet. He was trying to yo, I like the game you got, man. But I should have like, had it. That's dope, man. I man, I used to I love video games and I don't have time to play them. My son, he got he got that that Nintendo DX. Oh yeah? Yeah, man, it's dope, but I can't. I need to play. Last game I played was Skyrim, man. Like, I, I miss I haven't even played that. I miss. It's a garbage. <laughs> you, you look so sad, Monty. I was, I was trying to connect with you last, and you just, you're like, I don't play that, man. Punk. I'm a real gamer. <laughs> I just finished I make, Red Dead Redemption. You're like, I make, yeah, I played that. I was terrible at it. I just, fin- <coughs> terrible. I just finished Red Dead because I'm selfish and have no kids. Yeah, yeah. So I you, just finished. You can shoot and kill people all night. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Reach for the sky. And I would. T- there would be nights where I wouldn't even do the story. I would just like hunt animals. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get down. Yeah. I would wear a hunting outfit. You could do that in in Skyrim. You could just hunt animals like with a bow and arrow, and then you take the meat, and then you take go back and sell it. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a dope game. Right there too, you skin them and you go back and you say you get prize animals, you kill prize. Like you could it's just probably it's those mini games are dope. I used to play uh yeah. what's that game? Uh um oh, Xbox three sixty. The old no Xbox the regular Xbox, the black Xbox. I used to play uh oh, Fable. I don't know if Fable. you know Fable, yeah, I know Fable. I never played it, but I know of it. Fable was dope. So uh but the Fable like you could never a quest card has been added to you. Be like, yo, man, yo, yo, I got sixteen quests open, <laughs> and they would add another quest, and you'd be out on some quest, and then you halfway finish to the quest, and they'd add like a quest, another timeline Crazy. to the quest. That's some video games. Is dope. Yo, now but, they're like super immersive, you know? Yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot. Like I, I played like, Red Dead, and I thought I finished. Every time I think I finished the game, there's another ten hours, and, I, and I'm grateful. But yeah, it just keeps going and they going. Keep at it. They I feel like I lived it. another life. You're like, what do you do? Uh, last night I was I was on a Ponderosa. Yeah, I it's just flashbacks, <laughs> hunting, <laughs> hunting. You know? You're like, I was you walking are... around weird, like I was just on a horse for like a month. You know, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I reckon the people. Oh, what I really guy? get into it. At Starbucks, I reckon I have be a latte extra tall. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon. How many sugars are you reckon? You know, I I want <laughs> to be called Pa, you know? <laughs> pa? God. That's what you, my sisters, I'm dating myself. I don't want to date myself on this pot. I used to watch like uh, old westerns, mm-hmm. like uh, Little House on the Prairie. Like, like I used to watch Little House. Little like, House was good. Little House was, it was intense though. Like it wasn't like, you know what I mean? It like, was intense. It was, it was like an intense soap opera, Little House. Just like one episode where she was trying to cut her foot off. I was like, yo, what is yo, I'm not, like, not even funny, yo. Six. This, yeah. I don't get this. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's all innocent. She's running through the field in the beginning. But there's some hardcore issues going yeah, down Yeah, it was hardcore, man. Because, yo, they're out on the Ponderosa. I like Ponderosa. It was survival, they tried to... son. Yeah, man. They. It's crazy, man. Like, we, uh, we used to watch, like, we used to fight over the TV. Like I had mm-hmm. sisters, so they would watch some girly stuff, like some like cartoons, like Jim or like you know Sailor Moon. I'm like, oh, I want to watch GI Joe. I want to watch a show where nobody dies, but everyone gets shot at. <laughs> yeah, GI Joe was shit. Yeah, GI Joe. GI Joe was violent. It was great. It was violent. They don't have shows like that no more. No, they can't. They just they well they have Avengers now. They have like yeah. They don't. Sometimes they, they get a headache. You know what I mean? So yeah. much going on. It's too much. Like, uh, like even the video games will say if you're photosensitive, you may have a seizure if you're playing. Maybe. <laughs> you might. Okay, I'll come back from the seizure, right? You don't want to. That's, that's Your conscious may be sucked into the game. <laughs> really? When I have this, that's what's happening probably. It, you're getting, the game is coming self-aware and it's sucking your consciousness. <laughs> and you start to that's seize the next out. Thing. That's the next thing. That's the next thing. Like... I don't, but I, you know, I don't know. I want to get back into, like, but I'll be watching. I watch like game tapes on on uh, like YouTube, and they, they like the, I used to play Madden, but now it's so it's Madden kinda, is just I used to play Madden too, but now it's, it's all garbage. It's too it's much, all, man. Yeah, it's, it's all microtransactions. Yeah, I just want to play straight football, straight yeah. basketball. I can't and, even 
you can't even play a regular game now there's commercials in the game like yeah. ultimate team like you gotta like yeah. like yo i got a team and also i need jerry rice on my team yo why can't you just play the gal play play the giants and you play the cowboys and then we we play like they would play but now i just it, go back to tecmo that's all tecmo football yeah, tecmo won the best game all time right, right? bo jackson <laughs> did that one play it was just a it that's just cheating like, it's cheat and you he would go back and he could go back to the goal line you could drop back to like the like the goal line and throw a touchdown <laughs> like a 140 yard touchdown that's crazy yo. so monty as a comic we're gonna end with this as a comic do you have any any uh stories or tips or something that sticks out in your career how long you been doing comedy oh man I don't even want to say because then you guys might quit. <laughs> I've been doing this at least, like since 2003. I've been doing this since 2000, so Old pretty three. much close. Yeah, and, and like I'm like yeah. I'm almost up on 20, but like yeah, 15 yeah. or so. And uh, I would just say like you know probably try to get with kids. You know the funny thing is like you go through guys always here's the funny shit. People always talk about how. Uh, Yo, man, I got these, I got a crazy show. I had a crazy show. I was like, yo, the stories never stop with the crazy show. I had a show. There was a dog at the show. And the dog started barking in the middle of the show. And I was like, who let the dog out? And, out. <laughs> and the guy was like, he thought I was joking. I was like, no, who let the dog? Why is there a dog at my show? I was trying to, I was trying to like tell jokes of dogs barking at my punchlines. That, it, it never stops. That yeah. I had a show with a. I just had a show with a mic where where the, I was doing a show. I, I was headlining, and the power went out. Uh, I'm headlining. Lights out. I was. The damn. cool thing was everybody had their phones. They put their phones up. Yeah. I finished the show. Oh, uh, so, the, so I, they put their phones up, and you just kept going. No nice. mic. No, no mic. No electricity. It, you just finished it. Oh, like the best part of the show. I just That's I awesome. was like making night jokes and talking about. Night you know. jokes. <laughs> I don't know what that. Means. You know what I'm talking about? Day the, jokes, the, night the jokes, night, the night jokes, right. man. Lights go out, <laughs> tights go out. Like I was just, I don't know, you know, you know what I mean. Like I mean, yeah. off the top of my head, and it was, it was funny though. You get like that's like I love stuff like that because that like builds like your legend. That's like, the best dude, stuff. That's the dude, best you're stuff. Streaming that. Stuff that yeah, that's the, tape the best got, stuff got to just keep going man like because awesome. that all you learn from all of that and like i i learned how to deal with that because i had mad shows where the mic went out and i kept going like i was like just keep going the show showbiz and i because the show had two shows the shows i had the mic and i yeah. was doing because i do a lot of sound effects so you figure that's gonna hurt me <laughs> i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going nice. and i'm gonna and yeah, then yeah. It, oh i've now, had i've had uh one time they shut the lights off on me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what they did to me, but they shut it off on me, and I. Oh, stop I, telling jokes! I immediately <laughs> said, "Did the light shut off, or did I go blind?" I didn't know. <laughs> like, it was yeah, crazy. I had some terrible sets. Yeah, some terrible sets. But you know, I can't. You know, stories. I, I don't. Know, they just never stop. Like, they I never told, stop. That was a good one. Electricity goes out, and I've seen a dog at shows as well. By the way, yeah, I, it wasn't a CNI dog. It was like one of those little whack dogs. It was a little Chihuahua. It wouldn't. That dog. It did. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, I used to do when I would when I was doing the road. I don't know, you know, when you're out on the road. So I'm like mm -hmm. just trying to get my bones like two years in. So I do this gig out in PA. Uh -huh. The guy's like, you know, PA is just this was PA was kind of cool. Now it's like just like a red state. It's weird. <laughs> It's weird. Like it used to be just fun drunks, and uh -huh. so I go up there, and the guy's like, "I need you to do twenty minutes up top, and then uh, you you announce the whatever." It was a uh -huh. three guy, a two man, me, and like two other guys. So I did twenty minutes cold up top. Okay. And then halfway through the show, the guy's like, "I'm gonna come on and I'm gonna sell some stuff and do a raffle." I said, "Hold He's on." He's gonna sell stuff and do a raffle. Okay. I said, "Hold on." Why? Why? What are you? What are you doing a raffle for? And the, why don't you do the raffle at the end of the show? We get to keep the comedy going. He's like, oh, I gotta sell something, so I'm gonna do the raffle too. All right, I'm hosting the show. I told him not to do it. He comes up, he starts selling a Winchester rifle. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you Holy doing? He's like, I got a Winchester rifle, only fired once. I was like, yo, how you know it only fired once? 
Why are you selling? Damn. Yo, he Down south, they have a lot of guns. A lot of guns, right? That's like a, everybody yeah, got a gun. I know they got a gun, but you're going to sell it at a comedy show? <laughs> That's crazy. I've he never seen it. someone sell a gun. Somebody, like, That's crazy. Somebody bought it. Last, somebody somebody bought it? That's awesome. Was that part of the raffle, the gun? or that was, No, the raffle was later. The raffle was like something stupid, like tickets to like uh, Hershey Park. <laughs> Were you nervous when you did shows in the South? or No. No, I did. I did Wilmington. Uh, North Carolina was fine. I was. It, it was. They were actually pretty. That was kind of a liberal town. Yeah. Like, it was. Yeah. It was not. I did like fifty minutes there. Like in in like the place called the Brown Coat, which is like was like kind of like a little famous little place to do comedy now. Nice. And uh, I did two nighter there. That's awesome. That, that, actually, I did that. Oh man, I'm a I'm a name job. I did that with King. Oh really? Shout yeah. out to King. Yeah, King, King Warren. Well, he King runs Warren. a. Yoga studio now. Yeah, like, man, I call he's, it yoga. he's up there. Yoga, he's woke too. Right? He's, he's doing woke. his thing, man. Doing his thing, man. That's a good, dude, man. And he flew. They flew me down. And everything, man. It was a great, dude, man. That was great. Yeah. So also, oh, he flew you down. Yeah, man. I was, so, I was, yeah, I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, he did stand up for a. I don't know if he still does it where he is. I don't know. He was. He was in Texas. But he was good. He was, he was good, man. He was, he was good, a natural. Man. Natural guy story. He yeah. told he had good stories, he, and he was like he cool. He had great stories. He was King. cool. I on gotta call King. Get him on the. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. Um, you know what it is like. I'm always afraid of going like deep, deep down south, like like Alabama. Deep, deep, and like you know, so we I did the radio down there, and the ra- so we did the radio show, and the guy I was like, you know, I sound like I'm from the north, and the people were calling up, tell that carpet bagger to go home. Really? I was like, what? But this doesn't Car- get on the a radio. Carpet bagger. A carpet bagger is someone who comes. I don't even know why this is, like. So a carpet bagger is a politician <laughs> who can't get elected in their own state. So they go to another state and get elected like Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was like from another place. Uh-huh. Like she wasn't she from goes, New York. Yeah, she came she to, New York to New York so she's she could be a senator. Bagger. She got her carpet bagger. It, was, it has something to do. You put stuff on the car. It's an old. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I should stop. stop. No, no. Car- that's, that's fine. <laughs> carpet bagger. Never heard of that. Is it, so, yeah, that's so. The, but like the dude's. This is the thing about radio. People don't know about radio. When people call up, and there's people that don't get on the air that you hear, that's just awful people, racist. <laughs> like, tell really? them that, and they tell just them let them the calls call. through, right? They, just... they let them through, but like they mute them. <laughs> <laughs> so they say say like a couple words and then they mute them. Yeah, like, he's like, tell that. Pr- oh, whoa, whoa, Tony, Tony, hold Come it, on, hold man. it, hold on there. Can we got this guy from up north? I was talking about Brooklyn. I was like, my cousin's from Brooklyn. They're like, tell Ebenezer, that. you're on the air. Ebenezer, tell that. Tell him to go back to Brooklyn. I was like, I'm not from Brooklyn. My cousins, you're not even listening. I'm going to kill you. You might know where to. Oh, wait, wait, oh. And you're whoa, just there, whoa. like, terrified. I'm just, and you're just there. You're like, I'm just trying to promote a show I'm doing that night. Because we did the AM radio and we did FM's radio and then the Urban Station. Yeah. And then the Urban Station was dope because. It radio don't work because two people came <laughs> to the show. The show was a good, but like two people who heard about it on the radio came to the show. Nice. I was like, oh man, I guess I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do morning radio, night radio. That's funny. Well, that's but awesome, yeah, man. man, that's awesome. So now a good time as any to uh, promote my show again on <laughs> Thursday, September nineteenth at the Stand. It's almost sold out. New York City, East Sixteenth Street. Come on out. The nineteenth, I'd love to see you there, Monty. It's yeah, been man, so I, awesome having you, awesome. dude. Thanks so much. We're gonna we're gonna do it again. You do it again. Check me out on Instagram. Yeah, uh, at Monty Mason sixteen. I'm not original. I'm the sixteenth one. But check me out. Like me. <laughs> there's follow a, me. There's fifteen other Monty there's Mason. Fifteen other me clones. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but check me out. Check Laz out. You'll check me out. I'll be at a Good Vibes comedy show with uh, a bunch of good comics. It starts at, uh, season starts at 6, 7, 45. Uh, show starts at 8. Good lineup. Uh, it's at uh, seven, uh, 378 Broad Street in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Do it. Nice, nice. So I'll be um, posting uh, some links below, some of the info for your show. And so you can check out that that all those links below you can check out my website lasvic.com where i'll be posting all my show info all my shows coming up i want to thank monty mason for coming on the show today